Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives is Mary Brown, still known as Mom, by Brown Children? Numerous viewers of Sister Wives started to question about Mary Brown's standing within the family following the recent ceremony for Garrison Brown. Many wonder if the Brown children still think of her as their mother. Although it is difficult to accept that Mary Brown's divorce from her multiple marriages might have an impact on her standing as a mom, some of the children have come forward to report abuse at the hands of Mary. A Sister Wives fan asks a question about Mary on Reddit. Mary and the wives slash kids, they utter. Then talk about the family's perception of her. Do Janelle, Christine, and Cody acknowledge that Mary was still one of the kids' moms after Garrison's passing? Granted, following the divorce, the situation can be unclear. In addition, the user asks, do they treat her as a member of the family during holidays, hardships, etc.? I know there are conflicts amongst the three women. The Redditor does, however, make a valid point regarding how a family might respond to a tragedy. More importantly, Mary Brown's choice of seating arrangement is noted in the original poster. I was just looking at pictures, and Mary is still in the front row, but she kind of looks out of place. It's challenging to articulate my request. Subsequently, the poster is altered to include the entire funeral. Citing Christine and Janelle's continued conversation about motherhood with one other's children as an example. Historically, none of them really include or consider Mary in their planning, but they also expect her to be included by someone else and don't mind that she's around or even expect her to be around, someone says. I would imagine that nothing has really changed. Additionally, I believe that they let their kids determine what a mother means to them. For example, they all wouldn't have known about her until a producer inquired about her if she hadn't been seated next to them during Logan's wedding. I believe Mary would want to be there, Janelle. People typically band together during really trying times. Mary was a constant in the lives of the older children. If she hadn't shown up, I believe the hurt would have been far greater. Furthermore, a few of the Brown children have claimed over the years that Mary Brown abused them while they were little. There is definitely conflict with Maddie, Paydon Brown, and Michael T. There has also been conflict between her and Leon, her only biological child. Others pointed out that Mary was the one who enforced rules. Her unique personality and parenting style may have been the only reason she came off as aggressive as compared to the other parents. A few of the children, Maddie, Michael T., and Paydon, have come forward in public to report that Mary mistreated them and their siblings. Some have claimed not to have seen it. In addition to Mary's history of abuse against Janelle, something more happened. The teenagers who filed allegations against Mary, which had to be retracted or dropped out of the blue, were the ones making money on Patreon and YouTube rather than working in actual employment. It's also critical to keep in mind that Mary was the family straight shooter and disciplinarian. Considering that Mary attended the funeral and memorial, it appears that she is still regarded as one of the moms. The photo from Garrison Brown's military burial is noteworthy because it features Mary Brown seated next to Aspen and Mitch. Many think that Mary's relationship with some of the kids is the reason behind this. Michael T. crossed her arms and sat in the same row. Her distaste for Mary was evident in the past, but today was clearly difficult for everyone. Even while the sitting arrangements might not matter at all during a grief period, they might nevertheless give insight into possible situations. Michael T., whose body language is ambiguous, is seated in the same row as Mary. I really think that the seating order is being overexamined by fans and newspapers. This was a truly heartbreaking moment, and I doubt that Janelle gave a damn about where anyone else sat or behaved save her own children. The parents would naturally take up the front row seats. Since they aren't together, they both have an anchor and source of comfort in someone else. Beyond that, it was probably just a matter of who arrived first and how many seats each group could take. It's evident that Mary Brown appears, even though it's unclear how the Brown kids refer to her. Mary has unquestionably always loved her family, despite the challenges they faced. 
Hopefully, everyone put aside their differences and made an effort to help one another through the grieving process for the benefit of the family. I don't think she was as disengaged as it might appear from the photos, it appeared like the seats were arranged in a half circle, forcing people to sit on either side of the aisle in order to ensure that everyone could follow the service. Mary sat at the middle and Janelle with the core family because she was sitting with several of the children. Do you believe that Mary Brown is still regarded as a mother figure by the Brown children? Do you believe that some of the family's emotions are shown by the seating arrangements? Are you eager to watch more Sister Wives episodes? Please leave a remark below. All of the Sister Wives siblings who have publicly discussed Garrison Brown's passing. After Garrison Brown's passing, the Sister Wives siblings have not stopped honoring him. Following his passing, Maddie Brown, Garrison's sister, was the first to speak out. She added, We are now swallowed by the love that is left behind for this beautiful brother, and our hearts are broken. In March 2024, Janelle and Cody Brown, Garrison's parents, confirmed the news of his passing. They posted on Instagram, saying, Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown. He brought joy and brightness to everyone he came in contact with. We shall be left speechless at the void his loss has left in our lives. Please respect our privacy and join us in paying tribute to his memory. According to Us Weekly, when authorities got to Garrison's Flagstaff, Arizona, home, they found him dead from what looked to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. His death was looked into as possibly being a suicide. He was 25. Days after Garrison passed away, the family got together to commemorate his life. Among the six children of Cody and Janelle is Garrison. Together with his wife Robin Brown and his ex-partners Mary and Christine Brown, Cody is the father of 18 children in all. For other tributes from sister wife siblings, scroll down, it seems that my words are inadequate, she wrote. We are overcome by the love that this lovely brother has left behind, even if our hearts are broken. God bless you until our next meeting. I'll see you dining with our forefathers who fought before you at the gates of Valhalla. We have to make do without the light you gave and live in a more gloomy world till then. Later, in an Instagram video, Maddie discussed the lessons she's learned after losing her brother. In the video, she stated, mental health is so important. Furthermore, I believe we don't discuss it enough. I believe that we don't do enough to raise awareness. It wasn't lovelessness or bullying on Garrison's part. It had to do with mental wellness. I don't think it gets talked about enough in a way that makes sense to people, so I'm going to keep talking about mental health and self-care until I'm blue in the face.